going to show you how to do special modifications to make these clippers work for you. Whether you have blades, clippers, or even scissors, we're going to teach you how to make them work better. Whether you're a barber, stylist, or a beautician, or pet groomer, this video is for you. And I'm going to show you that I play with these clippers because I play with these clippers. What does that make me? That make me Kawhi Leonard. Why I say Kawhi Leonard? Because he's the only two-way player who is good on defense and he's great on offense. And so like Kawhi Leonard, when I'm using these clippers as a barber, y'all seeing those videos of me cutting hair, I'm on offense and I'm playing with these clippers. But I'm also in the back on defense modifying these clippers, playing with these clippers. So like I said, I'm going to show you because I'm the only one in the barber game that play with these clippers because I play with these clippers. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to get the T-outliner blade because we're going to show you how to modify this blade. Now, any trimmer blade can be modified in this way. But I'm just going to show you this blade because this is one of the most popular blades. So the first thing we want to do is take this blade off. Now, and of course, I'm not going to show you in this video how to sharpen this blade because you can go to the description and there will be a link in the for a video that show you how to sharpen this blade and how to make adjustments or zero gap the blade. But I'm going to show you how to modify this blade. Now, this modification that I'm about to do is technically called woo whopping. That's the name that I gave it. Now we're going to take the blade guide, the plastic blade guide off first. After we take the plastic blade guide off, put that in a safe place. So the first thing we want to do before we get started in woo whopping the blade is I'm going to take out this marker and I'm going to mark the area that we're going to woo whop. Now, I'm going to give a shout out to Tactical Ant and some couple of other comments that was left some time ago that suggested that I use the marker. So you see, I'm listening to the comments, so please, if you can, give a shout out or a comment and tell me some things that I need to make adjustments in teaching. Just because I play with the Clippers doesn't mean I can't get better at playing with the Clippers and teaching y'all. So now, I blackened out the front part of the blade. So what we're going to do is we're going to get on this twice as sharp machine. We're going to slide it into this clamp. And we're going to make the adjustment to about 45 degree angle. Now we're going to turn the machine on. Now remember, stay smooth and don't move. But keep your even glide. And you're going to knock a 45 degree angle right into the front of the blade. And you should be able to see the difference a little bit from the mark blacked out marker to now we got a shine. Now we're going to make sure it's nice and even. Now we're going to take that same angle, go over here to the buffing side, and we're going to buff that nice and clean. Now. That is called boot whopping. That's my modification to getting the blade to work better for you. Faster, sharper. And it's called woo wop. You get it? Woo wop at a 45 degree angle. Now, and after you woo wop the blade, I take and buff the front teeth of the blade. So you start off flat, then you bend, bend, bend. Turn it over, flat, bend, 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 bend. Now, the blade is nice and smooth. The teeth is smooth 
and the blade is extra thin and woo wop. Now, why do we do this to this blade? I'll give you an explanation. If you had a piece of hair that you was trying to get and you had these thick tweezers and you was trying to get a really fine hair, this thick tweezer wouldn't catch it. But if you take this little pointy tip tweezer, it gets it. Pop. This blade, now that the barber has it in his possession, he went from a thick or simple blade that had a nice thinness for lining, and then we took and made it even thinner and woo wopped it. And now that barber can get the finest hairs to the nicest, sharpest degree, which make him more efficient, and the blade works for you. So that's the modification that I showed you that I can do because I not only play with these clippers, but now I play with these clippers and I'm the only one that can do that for you. All right, now I just woo up this blade. We thinned it out. We made this thing sharper, more efficient. But there are a few things that happens to this clipper that will affect the performance, such as the tension spring, the blade guide, or the power in the motor. Now, several years ago, I made videos in all three of those categories. But if you want to see a new video, a more up-to-date version, just send a comment and tell me. If I get 20-something comments, that let me know I need to do another video. I'm willing to listen to y'all. And also, hit the like button as well as subscribe. And hey, don't forget to hit the bell for the notifications so that you get the ring when I put up a new video. Because I'm out here just doing this for y'all. Because I just want to help y'all be better at playing with the Clippers. Because I play with the Clippers. Because I play with the Clippers.